to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's video. Welcome to our channel. My name is Blair. If you're new here, this is our channel, the Wonderbilt channel, formerly known as the Wandering Wyatts. My husband and I and my daughter, we have this channel where we just kind of film a little bit of everything as our title says. Today, I'm gonna to chat about my recent trip to St. Louis. And so a little preface to this video. If you don't know anything about this company called First Form, you might be a little confused whenever I go to their headquarters. <laughs> I will say that I have been a fan of this company for years. I recently joined up with them last year as an affiliate for them. So if you ever have questions about supplements, they have a fitness app. I'm an advisor in the app where I help coach people to healthier lifestyles. Always happy to answer questions, but essentially this company represents so much of what I believe in towards life, towards health and fitness, and just the way to be a better person and to make the world a better place. And that happens one person at a time. And so this company, they recently built a headquarters in St. Louis, and it is like the epitome of a health and fitness facility. It's absolutely incredible. And so people from headquarters, um, athletes that travel to headquarters, share videos and pictures from this place. And this is where all their supplements and all their gear ships out of. And so I've seen pictures and videos of this facility for over a year now, and I was finally able to experience it in person. So seeing that was really, really neat, especially because so many incredible, inspiring people were in that place at the same time as well. So that's a little preface. Um, if you don't know anything about this company, I highly recommend looking it up. Like I said, if you have any questions, let me know, but I'm just gonna get into the vlog. I don't wanna keep this intro too long. Um, I'll pop in every now and then with some overlay clips and, and talking about my experience because there are some um, videos that I couldn't use because of the audio because they had some music going on in the gym. Um, there was a concert, like it was, it was crazy. I had an incredible time. I went with a friend of mine named Caitlin. She is also an affiliate with the company and just so happens to go to my gym. So we went together and we just had a phenomenal time. So I'm gonna let the vlog get started and then I'll pop back in with some, a little bit of uh, chatting. So hope you enjoy. If you do, please make sure and hit that thumbs up. If you are anybody that's watching this video and you went to Summer Smash at HQ, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to connect with anybody that was there um, and, and tell us a bit about your experience in the comments below as well. So let's get to it. <laughs> Made it. This is Caitlin, everybody. This is my traveling buddy, and she will be keeping me safe and calm throughout the flight. So, um, our flight is at 6, and it's 4.51, so we've got plenty of time. We're gonna find coffee, and then we're gonna be off. Alright, we made 
made it to St. Louis. This is our room. We, it's actually pretty nice. Little bathroom here. And shower, you know, pretty standard, but I do like this area. Desk, couch, and coffee bar. And then the room, the um, hotel has continental breakfast, which is always nice, so we don't have to worry about buying breakfast. We're gonna go find some food, find some lunch, and then we're gonna go to headquarters. We're gonna take a tour, we're probably gonna buy some merch, and we're gonna go work out. So I'm gonna show y'all. I'm really excited, and it's finally setting in that we're going. Are you ready? Yeah! <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, that's an Amazon hub. Made it. There it is. We're going in. <laughs> look at your face. <laughs> I look at you and you're just like. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so first things first, whenever we got there, we had to register. And so we gave them our name. They gave us the most incredible goodie bag that I did not expect. I was thinking we'd get like a shirt, maybe a shaker cup. Well, we got some new products that have not been released yet. A new protein, meat sticks, nut butters. We got all of the stuff you see here that I laid out on the bed. Water bottle, shirt, uh, bandana, hat, flag, playing cards, uh, a little patch. And like I said, some, some new flavors of pre-workout, protein, nut butters, and meat sticks that have not yet been released. So that was really cool. But this facility is awesome. I think it's over 200,000 square feet. They've got this field, like a, a field where they run sprints. There's also a batting cage that lowers down. Um, we were able to also get a sneak peek of a new release of some of their clothing that came out last week, I think last week. And so we were able to get a hold of some of the items on pre-release. Uh, I put some pictures and videos on my Instagram if you want to check those out. But this part is where we went to work out at the gym. And oh again, gosh, as I so mentioned, um, we walk through headquarters. So you walk through the headquarters. This is the main entrance. Everything in this facility is absolutely pristine. Like everything is perfect. Everything is clean. Everything is geared towards making the work environment as optimal and as enjoyable and as motivating as possible. And it was just so neat to see it one in person, but also see just the little attention to detail that they have in every single area of this facility. Cause this is where all of the employees work. This is where their customer service is. This is where, um, you know, our coaches, the people that coach their affiliates, their legionnaires. This is where Andy Frazella films his podcast called Real AF, which is one of the, I think most popular podcasts out there. And so, I mean, everything is geared to be as efficient and as motivating and as like high quality as possible. And that's, that trickles down into every element of this brand. So it was really neat to be able to see just kind of the, the inner workings of it. But my favorite part was that we got to work out at their gym. And again, this gym is where the employees at headquarters work out. This is where they bring in all their athletes, their sponsored athletes, their affiliates. They bring them in for content. They bring them in for group workouts. But the gym is just insane. If you work out, this gym is like one of the places that you, like I, I feel like this is what the gym in heaven will be like. <laughs> you know, you're like working out with Jesus and, and it's like this gym. Um, again, everything is in tip top shape. Like all of the equipment is in perfect condition, state of the art. Um, even the little details down to the dumbbells, um, everything is lined up correctly. All of the, like, and whenever you go work out there, you make sure to put everything, like everybody re-racks. Um, this part was pretty cool too. I think this is one of their, um, I'm gonna let this play real quick because the, it's just the environment. It's just crazy. Like the amount of strength and dedication that was in this room. So these are actually two of my friends that I know, they work at headquarters and these were the two people that encouraged me to do the 100 
pull-ups a day for 100 days challenge, which if you haven't checked out that video, it's a couple of videos back, you can check it out. It's my thoughts on the challenge and my results with it, but these are my pull-up buddies. So it was really neat to be able to see them in person and do some pull-ups together. Um, so that was, that was really cool too. Good morning, this is day two of Summer Smash and we're heading down for breakfast. I'm pretty exhausted from yesterday and we have two more days of it. And apparently tomorrow's gonna be the biggest day in terms of events because we have a big like festival. I don't even know, I don't know. Um, nobody knows what to expect, it's always a surprise. But last night we went to a bar restaurant there were a lot of people there. It was kind of overwhelming. The music was really loud. Not necessarily my scene, but I did it. I got out of my comfort zone, had fun overall. We made some new friends and we get to do it all over again today. So today we have a tour. This lighting is, we have a tour of HQ this morning and then a workout at another gym. So that'll be fun. So taking you guys with us. Hope you're having a great day. Let's go get some breakfast. Little pro tip, whenever you travel, don't mind my, my typo on there. These are all scoops of protein that I just brought in individual baggies. I've got several in my stash right there that looks kind of suspicious. But hotels usually their continental breakfast is gonna be all carbs, um, especially this one. It was like muffins, cereals, like bars, muffins like this. And so protein is gonna help you feel fuller longer. It helps with muscle recovery, it helps with muscle growth, it helps with metabolism. So I always bring protein with me and I mix it with the milk and then I pour it into the cereal. So just kind of a nice little tip for you. So later that morning we went to another gym for kind of a, a group family workout and this gym was really really nice it's in the st louis area and it's called club fitness so if you're ever in the area definitely check it out i mean it is state of the art and it's open to memberships first form is not open to memberships it's just hq and their athletes but this is an actual public gym and they've got just about everything you need so i would highly recommend checking them out if you're ever in that area but it was just really neat because the energy around was really like high and all of the athletes were there. They had booths set up with first form products and the people, the employees at the actual gym were really, really awesome and just excited to have us there and welcoming. And then we had a little bit of downtime on, this is on Saturday morning before the big event, before the big party. So we went to see the Arch and I have never been to St. Louis before. I honestly don't know a whole lot about the city itself except for the Arch. And so we had ended up making friends with another couple who was staying in our hotel. Lo and behold, they were from Texas too. And they had driven their car. So Caitlin and I flew. So we were Ubering everywhere up until Saturday, which can be pretty pricey. So we carpooled with them. We went to see the Arch. It was really, really neat. I, I mean, you know it's big, but I had no idea how big this structure is. And, you know, cause I had never really, we've never been to St. Louis, so I'd never really thought about it before. You see pictures of it, you see it in movies, but I mean, it, it's massive. So that was really neat to be able to see that up close, in person. We walked around just a little bit. We didn't really do anything else in St. Louis because we didn't have a whole lot of downtime other than Saturday morning. Everything else was kind of planned. We had the events in the evening and then Friday night, Caitlin and I just kind of 
chilled a little bit getting ready for Saturday. They, um, they had an event out at a, a country bar that we ended up not going to because both of us were kind of wiped out from the day before. So we rested up and then Saturday morning we went to the arch and apparently you can do a tram ride to the top of the arch, but it was all sold out for that day. And so we went inside and kind of looked around and then we walked up to the arch and got to see it up close in person, but not, we didn't get to ride up it, which is, I think would have been really, really cool. But just a really neat, something to, to check off the old list, you know, um, something cool to see in person. And I got an ornament, I don't know where it is, but I got an ornament because every time Matt and I travel somewhere now, we get an ornament for our Christmas tree. And so I got an ornament with the arch and I also got Eva a shirt, but it was just a really neat experience. But I've never been here and apparently they do tours where you can ride to the top. They were all sold out today, but there's tiny, tiny windows at the very top there that you cannot see, but that's the observation windows. Can you imagine? Has anybody been to the top of this thing? Let me know. Everybody say hello. Hi. Woo! Hello, hello, hello. We are heading over to Summer Smash, which is the, probably, it's supposed to be pretty amazing. I still don't know what to expect, but it's gonna be awesome. I'm already pumped. Everybody here is pumped, and you can tell. <laughs> Let's go. They say that success is doing what you want, with you want, with who you want, when you want. And I couldn't think of what we got. And I couldn't think of a better place that I'd rather be where I want to be right here with you celebrating Summer Smash. It's been a lot of nights, days, missed weddings. Um, Miss funerals, graduation parties, not only myself, but our guys, our staff, being out on the road, guys like Will, Aaron, Cody, Brian Teach, Mike Taylor, my brother, Chris, Jason. There were a time back in, in the day when nobody believed in us. And you guys always gave us hope. You guys always kept showing up. You guys always kept standing up for what's right. And I wanna let you know that for myself, for my family, for my team, that I go through every ounce of struggle again. I'd miss every wedding. I'd miss every event to spend one more day just like this with you people. You guys make me really proud. You guys give me hope. You guys fill my heart with love. And I don't think that I could ever be any more happy than I am right here, right now. I love every single one of you. I'd do anything in the fucking world for any single one of you. And the fact that you'd be willing to take your time, energy, and effort to come spend it with us means the world to me. And I want you to know that not only do I fucking love you, I would ride and die with every single one of you guys.
And you brought Nelly out for the first Summer Smash in 2019. How are you going to top that? You don't top that, you bring his ass back. So there's the vlog. I know it was all over the place. I honestly had gone into the weekend with intention of getting some really, really great footage just because this place is so cool and I wanted to, you know, remember it and share it with you. But once I got there, I wanted to enjoy the time. And so I, I vlogged as, you know, a little bit here and there. I got footage of where I could. I knew I was going to have to edit. I mean, I've been sitting here for two hours editing all of this footage, but I wanted to focus more on enjoying the time there and, and meeting people, meeting new people and then meeting people in person that I had not yet met in person, which was one of the coolest things. And so I just tried to enjoy the time. I didn't want to be overwhelmed with trying to get like a vlog that was real put together. As you can tell, it's just kind of pieced together. Um, but just, I wanted to have this video to remember it by and to share with you on the channel because I, I don't travel much anymore and I don't travel by myself and it ended up going surprisingly well. There's, uh, we ended up staying, uh, I didn't get home until Monday. I was supposed to get home Sunday night, but we ended up missing one of our flights, a whole other thing. It was super stressful. But with that being said, I still did not have a panic attack, which was one of my biggest fears for this trip entirely was flying because I just, I just get really anxious with flying as I had mentioned to y'all last week. And so I'm really proud of myself and I, the trip was fantastic. It was so much fun. Yeah, that, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. It's long enough. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. We'll be back on Friday with our normal weekly videos. Hope you're having a great week and we'll see you in the next one. Have fun out there. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show.